folks, so, hey, it's the end of January, we're going into February, Valentine's Day is coming up. I mean, the, the year is ing, 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 spinning by. How's that diet working for you? Mm, probably not so good, huh? Well, the reason is because these fad diets, they all focus on minutia. They all focus on two little things and not enough about the big picture. Let's just talk about portions. Okay, let's agree on something between you and I right now. What's the fact? Protein portion for American females, three to four ounces. Okay, that, no, that was three to four ounces. Okay, yeah, you heard right. Males? five to six ounces. And six ounces, we're talking about a big six foot guy. Myself, I I'm talking more about like four ounces. So let's just look at some stuff real quick just to freak you out. These little samples of meat right here. And, and th again, this is my like 295 Wally World scale. You don't have to spend a lot of money to freak yourself out. And believe me, you will freak yourself out. If you get yourself one of these, you're gonna sit there and go, you're kidding me. Four, that's four ounces? You're kidding me. No, I'm not kidding you. Uh, let me freak you out real quick. This teeny little piece of prime rib, this looks like something that you would feed your kid, right? You go to the restaurant, they give you a kitty portion. Let's take a look at it real quick, here on the scale. My, my 295 scale, let's put it in here. Four ounces, folks, four, four ounces. That's the portion for a female or a male normally in this country for a meal. Yo, oh, you're going, no, yeah, that's what I'm talking about right there. That's four ounces, don't freak out, I'm telling you. That's the problem with your diet. That's where you're failing, is because you're so used to shoveling eight, 10, 12, 16 ounces of beef down your gullet that you can't stand the fact that you might eat, actually eat a meal and not get bloated and swollen. Let's look at something else. Here's a teeny little piece of tenderloin. We have a little piece of tenderloin. I mean, this would hardly be a portion at a restaurant, right? Let's look at it. Half a pound, people, one half a pound of beef right there. And that doesn't even look like what they normally give you at a restaurant. And I'll give you an even better example. They'll sell you one, and I'll sell you on the fact. Buffalo, I love buffalo, bison. Greatest thing you can ever eat. Twice the protein of beef. I mean, it is incredible. If you can find it at the store, get buffalo. But let's just look. Here's a little burger. Let's just talk about a little burger here. Eh? What is that? Half a pound right there. Too much, guys. So. Follow me on the Kitchen Minute, keep coming to the point, and we'll show you all kinds of great stuff. We've been talking about dry dock, we've been really having a blast lately, but trust me, I will inch you, because I know people don't really want to be like slammed into a new lifestyle or a new diet, but I will inch you into the process of how you can put all this and weighing all your stuff into really making a huge difference so that by the time you come and see us this spring in your little pink bikini, you're gonna be stunning and shredded with your six pack. I'm Chef Jim White with today's Kitchen Minute, and rock the dock. <music>